What's up guys? Super excited to bring to you a brand new haircut. This is going to be an inside out bob, basically a graduated bob, but we're going to cut it from the interior to the exterior. Check out how I'm sectioning this off. So I basically take from the parting down to center back and I follow that line and that's going to start my first vertical section. And then the the key to this cut, what's so unique about it, what's exciting about it, cutting it from the interior to the exterior is I can determine how do I want that shape to start in the back. So right now I change my finger angle, I base it on the head shape, I base it on the density and I decide how do I want that angle to appear. And then I follow that vertical section all the way down to the nape, uh, cutting it in a basic straight line all the way down. As I continue through the back, I'm gonna be working from uh, a traveling guide. So I'm gonna bring everything back to the previously cut section and I'll cut that in half. I'll move to the next section, bring it over and I just keep working across the head shape. I'm focusing on cutting a nice square back right now. So everything horizontally will fall parallel uh, to the back of the head. And I just work my way through. My tools of choice that I'm using today is the YS Park 339 comb available on shopfse.com. That is our website. And then also the Mizutani scissor. This is the Matt Beck edition available on our website as well. Uh, and if you're looking for any kind of scissors, combs, clips, anything that you're seeing in this video, please use our shop. It's shopfse.com. We also have payment plans available for the scissors so you don't have to shell out all that cash all at once. Uh, so hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, so we continue through the back. I'm just working that traveling guide all the way through again. And when I get behind the ear, this is kind of a key moment in this cut. I make sure that I bring everything straight back to me. Uh, again, parallel to the back of the head. Uh, pretend like you're in a box so you can't cross over and that'll keep you from uh, rounding off the haircut when you don't want to. All right, so now you can see that's the first side finished. You can see how the, there's a little bit of extra length in the nape. We're gonna cut that dry. So now I'm gonna work um, the top to the bottom on the left-hand side. You'll see that I pull my guideline from the previously cut section. The only difference is now I've got my fingers pointed towards the sky. On the opposite side, I was pointing them towards the floor. This is all about combing, guys. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take my new section, pull it towards the guideline, and just work my way all the way over. Still working with a traveling guide. Watch the shape unfold. It's just a beautiful way to start at the top, really understand what you're working with, and then work all the way through it. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. All right, so now I let down the left-hand side and we're gonna clip that away. And I'm just gonna take diagonal forward partings and I'm gonna mimic those partings with my finger angle and work my way all the way through the section, pulling the guide from the previously cut section. So now as I move further into this sectioning, um, one of the things I want you guys to notice is that I start to really elevate each section that I'm bringing over. The reason I'm elevating it is because I want it to be nice and light um, around the outer perimeter line so that when I go in and I cut it and I do that detail work dry, it's much easier for me to work with. And I also want to see the flow of that weight uh, within the haircut as well. So really those are the couple reasons why I'm elevating the hair through.
right, so I finished up the left-hand side. Now we're gonna move on to the right-hand side. Uh, very similar uh, technique that we're gonna do on this side. The biggest difference is I'm gonna do a little more over direction, pulling the hair back a little bit more as I cut it, still elevating through, but I wanna push a little bit of extra length on this side because this is gonna help us with our asymmetrical feel as we uh, finish the haircut. So a couple more sections left on this right hand side. Uh, two things to take into consideration here. Um, look at my finger angle compared to the parting. They're parallel to each other. It's a great way to, to keep your guideline, keep everything consistent, is to make sure that you mimic those two things together. And then also understand that the top is still sectioned away. The hair is actually gonna fall over this section that I'm currently cutting. So I wanted to break up the heavy side. Some people like to cut it all at the same time. For me, uh, in this particular cut, I chose to separate the top and the bottom because I feel that it's just easier to keep it organized. So um, although this is a little bit more of an advanced cut, I like to try to make it as basic and simple as possible because the more simple it is, the more consistent I can be in the end result. So that's the two sides we've cut through. Very, very similar on both sides. Now I'm gonna let down the top and we're gonna work our way through the top section. Uh, key thing here, I comb everything kind of down and over where it wants to fall naturally and then that's how I'm gonna blend it in. So work in pie shape sectioning through this crown area and then as I work through the sides, I'm gonna go a little bit more slight diagonal forward and make the parting that way. Uh, but in the back, I wanna just connect it all through. Here's an overhead view. You can just see that I'm not over directing anything. I'm really trying to bring everything straight out from the head, work that crown area and work those pie shaped sections, no over direction. Uh, and now I'm directing everything out and over. This is my slight diagonal forward and you'll see that as I'm working through it. My guideline for this is really coming from the underneath that previous section that we cut. So now we finished it up. Now we're gonna hit it with some Moroccan oil smoothing lotion. Uh, this is a great product for just polishing the hair, getting a little bit of control, humidity resistance. Uh, it's definitely humid out there, especially in this area uh, right now. So I put that in the hair and I blow dry doing a flat wrap technique using my Ergo diamond head brush. Um, and I just work the hair around the head. That's really the, the key thing that I'm doing here. And then I smooth it out with a smoothing iron and just really work that beveled edge under um, from mid shaft to ends and then we finalize it with some detail work with our scissor using the tip of the scissor the blade and then working that flat line I bring up the hair on the one side because I want to create a nice asymmetrical kind of round feel on one side uh, and then I cut a more triangular feel on the opposite side just for me it's 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 more fun that way. Uh, you can see I blow dry it. Then I go in with my Mizutani. Uh, this is an Acroleaf wide texturizing scissor and it just glides through. It's a dry cutting scissor mixed with a texturizer. So super cool. And then I finish it with my T trimmer from Andis uh, and just go through and slide that through just to finalize that line. Hit it with some Moroccan oil hairspray for the final result. Uh, beautiful, fun haircut. I uh, know you guys will get a lot of use out of this, at least the technique. Uh, think about using that interior to exterior uh, execution. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, download the FSE Now app for more videos just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.